WWE's NXT brand surprised pro wrestling fans everywhere when talent from TNA Wrestling began appearing on the shows. Jordan Grace was the first to break through the forbidden door between the two companies, followed by the Rascals and Joe Hendry. Now, there are numerous possibilities on the horizon. Before joining TNA in 2021, Macklin spent six years with WWE, where he wrestled under the name Steve Cutler. Most of his WWE tenure was spent in NXT, where he became a member of the Forgotten Sons in 2018. With the strong working relationship between TNA and NXT, Fightful recently asked Steve Macklin about the possibility of returning to NXT in a new interview. If that happens, it happens. Maybe that Cutler guy that's there. Maybe we can wrestle there one day. I don't know. Maybe. He's stuck there in the PC somewhere. He's been there for years. But no, if that relationship happens, that would be great. My focus is always on TNA. Like for Slimeversary, and then whenever this does come out to have the gate we had, and to just keep that momentum going within TNA, and I try to keep my focus on TNA, and if that relationship with NXT happens for myself to go over there and cross over there, that'd be awesome. But my focus is on TNA and making this brand as best as possible. When asked about potential opponents, Steve Macklin mentioned that he'd like to face someone who has wrestled in TNA before, such as AJ Styles or Drew McIntyre. Well, obviously it'd be somebody that was TNA, whether it's AJ Styles, Drew McIntyre, Bobby Lashley. I don't deal with NXT. I had my time with NXT. Nothing against talent there, but I would go up towards main Raw and SmackDown just because that's where I feel my level is, and that's the level I think I can compete at as well. I've been there. Things obviously didn't work out the first time, but it's obviously working out here in TNA, so if they wanted to cross that line that I would gladly appreciate that. Steve Macklin is no stranger to NXT. He spent years in WWE's developmental brand as part of the Forgotten Sons, a faction that eventually fell apart after a controversial incident involving his tag team partner's tweets during their main roster call-up. So, he could have some unfinished business with the brand, just as Nash Carter did as he was able to return as Zachary Wentz as one-third of the Rascals. Triple H spoke about the goal behind this partnership, emphasizing that it not only gives TNA wrestling additional exposure, but also offers NXT stars the opportunity to perform in a different environment. Triple H believes this will help NXT talent develop a more diverse ring awareness. We'll have to wait and see what's next for TNA wrestling and WWE NXT. The possibilities are endless and it's hard to predict how many more crossovers will happen before everything is said and done, but it's likely there are more surprises ahead. What's your take on WWE's partnership with NXT and TNA Wrestling? Which company is benefiting more from this deal? Share your thoughts in the comments section.